Okay, hey everyone. Uh, sorry, we were running a bit late today because the internet here wasn't quite as good as I was expecting. Uh, let me know in the chat if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Uh, home 3D printing, some really impressive prints. These are pretty large printers. Let me know in chat what it is you'd like to see, if there's any particular companies you'd like to ask questions to. And um, I'll see what we can do. I'm going to be chatting to some guys later on who 3D printed props for the Game of Thrones series. Uh, they also printed and scanned a dinosaur for the British Natural History Museum. Uh, I'm going to be chatting to Rigid Inc, the filament suppliers, and a few other guys. Anyone that you'd like me to speak to, I will approach and forward your questions onto them. So what is it you'd like to see, guys? You're just after the big fancy stuff. Got 3D primer here. They've got with them an R2-D2. I know a few of you are going to be interested to see something that was here last year and has been since completed. You may have seen in my photos from last year's coverage that they had a short circuit Johnny 5 head. This year we have the full thing, which I'll make my way over to now. Whereabouts is everyone uh, viewing from today then? I think, if I remember correctly, Johnny Five just up here. Yes, we are pulling up. pop back and check out the latest raised 3D printers in a bit. there guys it's actually a bit smaller this year than it was last year I think hmm. uh, I think I spotted I think I've lost Johnny Five. So, why don't we work our way around, up and down each of the aisles. If you guys see anything you're interested in looking at, I can stop and take a look at it. And at some point, oh no, here we go. We found him. Check this guy out. on the GoPrint 3D stall. Pretty cool. Love the irises of the eyes there. That's 
been printed out on a work table, 3DP. These guys had the head last year and they've been working on it around the year. They've been uploading videos to YouTube so you can actually see the progress of the build for that if you go to their YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I'll pop it in the description this evening when I get home. So there's some funky little printers here. This is the Robo R2. Again, guys, just shout if there's anything in particular you'd like to see or if you want me to ask any questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning of the expo and I'm going to walk around systematically so you guys get to see the whole show. So this is the start of the show. The first thing you see is the 3D systems, 3D printed armor and weaponry. And again, guys, if there's anything in particular you'd like me to stop and look at in more detail, just shout in the chat. Over here we've got Nikon. They were here last year showing off their 3D scanning systems. Detail in these things is absolutely unbelievable. So whereabouts are you guys viewing from today then? You guys at work or are you at home? Are you viewing from England, America, Germany, France, Italy? I can name a few countries. All right, guys. Uh, How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Good. I'm doing a little live video for YouTube yeah. here. Do you mind uh, sort of taking me through your liquid cooling system here? It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah? Cool. So uh, that's our liquid cooling Sorry, for you, uh, do you mind if I just pop oh, this on you? Yeah, just pop that on your... Uh, like this it's okay yeah. perfect so this is our liquid cooling system so it's it's designed for our own extrusion system the the dice extruder pro and dice uh, and pro and also the dice extruder gt and uh, uh and dyson x Adam. so it's for people who just want to put uh, our, our extrusion system inside a, a control environment. So when you do that, uh, sometimes a motor is really too hot, so you can put a backplate and liquid cool uh, your motor. And also you need your 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 heat brake and your uh, and your uh, like you need to keep the the the, the cold part of the oven to be as cool as cool as possible like if it were in outside of a control environment so the flow keeps running inside the atom so that's that's why we designed the the kit 
Right now, we don't have our own uh, radiator and, and uh, pump system, but in the near future, we might release an uh, all-in-one kit that people can buy and uh, liquid cool their, their own system using our, uh, our product. Fantastic. Perfect. Cool. cool. And what sort of prices are these things available at the moment? Uh, if you buy our kit, like the, the new Pro Series is about uh, $300 US. And the back plates are like $20, I think. It's uh, electroless nickel plating, uh, so it's a stainless uh, steel uh, plating. Great, that's really Perfect. Cool. Thanks very cool. much. Cool. Right. Hope you have a good day. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers. Cool. Well, so there's the first mini interview, but again, if you guys have anything in particular you'd like to see, just let me know, and um, I'll get them to give you their spiel. If you've got any questions, let me know, and I will pass them on. That's quite all right. It's a, it's a prototype. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing a live video here. Do you mind uh, sort of explaining to the guys what this is about? Okay. But, uh, do you mind if I just pop this on you just so they can hear you a bit better? Okay. But, uh, that's it, fantastic. Hi. Um, so this is the RD4 printer. Um, the RD4 printer is a prototype at the moment. Um, we brought it to the show uh, to generate some interest uh, for our crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. Um, the big advantage of the RD4 printer is it has two liquid printing pumps for uh, printing UV resins. So what you can do with that is you can FDM uh, print a plastic mold and then you can use your uh, Molyneux vac pump to fill the mold with silicon or you can fill the mold with um, UV curing resins. Uh, you could make um, an o-ring groove to do a form in place gasket um, you could create a box uh, place electronics in the box and then fill the box with um, UV curing resins or any two-pack resin and then you can encapsulate electronics so that's the distinct advantage of our printer over other printers on the market um, we're still developing it uh, currently um, we have a, a little way to go. We'd hope to have it ready for the show, but we're um, still probably a couple of uh, months away from demonstrating the prints I was just talking about. Okay, and uh, in terms of, uh, you were saying that you could 3D print something uh, uh, in like solid uh, PLA or whatever, and then inject the resin into the mold. Would that be all in one process or? Um, Yes, it, it depends on the type of mold that you make. Um, so if you were to print your mold from a dissolvable material, that would remain on the bed, uh, and then you could come along and directly print into uh, the mold that you printed, and then dissolve away the mold. Equally, if you wanted to reuse your mold, you could print your mold in two halves. Uh, you can print markers on the bed, so you place your mold back into the bed, and then you can fill up uh, your mold with silicon, let that cure, take it out of the mold, place the mold back on the bed, carry on with the process. So for, as a demonstration, um, what we'll be looking to do is 3D print a watch. Okay. So you'll 3D print two halves of a mold. Yeah. Um, you'll fill uh, the mold uh, watch strap with silicon. Yeah, it's all right. You'll fill the watch strap with silicon. Yeah. Um, then you'll place uh, an electronics uh, digital watch mechanism in there. And then using the other print head, you'll print um, some uh, it's clear uh, resin plastic and that will dome using the natural surface tension yep. and because we've included a, a vacuum in the system and there should be a door on here so it's a vacuum enclosure okay, yep. uh, what you can do is you can um, use the vacuum to get rid of any air bubbles that remain in the liquid so it can create a crystal clear lens so the vacuum also works there's a hole in the bed here um, so if you print over the hole um, your mould, that will allow you to suck um, all the, the silicon or the fluids into the mould, which uh, gives you a lot more detail. Oh, brilliant. That's uh, really cool. 
Uh, and what sort of time frame are you, uh, are you thinking for this then? Um, we've been working on this for about 18 months. Yeah. Um, we were hoping to have it ready for this show. Um, our main technical hurdle at the moment is just getting our pump to work with all the types of fluids. Sure. So it works well with uh, the silicons. Um, but the lower viscosity fluids um, that we've just got to work on the tolerances of our pump. So we're running through uh, um, printing and molding lots of different uh, pumps so we can get the tolerances right between the rubber stator and the rotor. Yep. Um, we're hoping that we can look to launch in the next couple of months on Indiegogo. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, do you have a direct link for people can look at to find your stuff? Yeah, are, are we, we've got two uh, websites, um, RD4 Printer's more of a shop, um, the hyphen printer is a little bit of uh, information, news and, and social media. Um, we're in the process of getting our um, campaign ready to go on Indiegogo, so it should be up there in, in the next few days before the, sh the show's out, a sort of preview. Um, but with the priority is getting the printer working and then all the uh, other bits that look nice and pretty will come along a little bit after that. So, oh. well, thanks very much, buddy. Thank you. Good luck with the show. Is it right to scan your badge? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. What did that go out on? Uh, so that's out on YouTube on okay. the channel for 3D Revolution. 3D Revolution. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, guys, it looks like because of the uh, technical error which delayed me by quite a while getting this up. Uh, a lot of you have probably gone back to work and you finished on your lunch breaks now. Uh, so rather than go through this on live, I'm going to do an interview with as many people here as I can and I'll cut a video for you as soon as I can. So for now, I'll see you guys later. If whilst I'm still here there is something in particular you'd like me to ask someone, just pop me a tweet and I'll do that before I leave and pop it in the main video. Cool. Thanks guys.